Hi, so today we're going to talk about adding email accounts to your Thunderbolt. Um, you automatically should have a Gmail account on the phone, um, just really to unlock everything that the phone can do. So we're going to talk about a couple of other uh, fairly popular email accounts and how to add them. So um, I've got a Yahoo and a Hotmail account that we're going to add. Uh, there's always, you know, with Android, there's always several different ways of doing it with everything. So first of all, let's start with the way that kind of um, Verizon and, and the manufacturer recommend that you do it. If you go into your settings, which if you just hit that menu there and then go into settings, you can see accounts in sync right here. You go into that and then you can add an account right here. It says add account. If you add account, then you can choose different whatever. You know, this is where you do all your social networking and stuff like that. I'm just going to do mail for email. You can choose from your, your list here. We're going to do Hotmail first. So Hotmail is just going to be a other Pop3 or IMAP. And then put in your email address right here, your password, and hit next, and that's it. We're going to go through the process, but we're going to do it a little differently, a little more uh, straightforward. So go into your application list by pressing this guy. And then go into mail which is the, just looks like an envelope and then you have the same screen but it's just a couple of less steps so we'll go into the other pop 3 and IMAP I'm going to put in my hotmail address and the password and remember, if you can't get the uh, the keyboard to drop, just hit the back arrow, and that'll drop the keyboard. And then, when you're doing the password, that 12 pound in the ABC, that's how you toggle between the letters and numbers. This way it is with the whole keyboard. It can be frustrating if you don't know that, though. All right, so now it's checking account settings. And it should just take a second here. See where it says finish setup? We'll choose that. That's it. So now we have our inbox. You can see it says compose mail at the top. This is how, That's how you do a Hotmail account. So that's really fast. Um, Yahoo is actually the same way you just go through the same process but frankly Yahoo makes a an application on their market that's a lot lot better than just the standard one that you get through Android so let's do that um, we're gonna go into market I'm gonna search for Yahoo and you can see the top one is Yahoo Mail underneath it it says Yahoo Inc so that's the developer that's who made it and you can see it's getting four out of five stars so that's a good one to download. And it, this lists on the description. You can get more and read more about it. But we're going to hit install. And then this tells you what it has access to when you download it. Hit OK. And you can see that it's installing up here. Right? All right, so now uh, Lookout is scanning it. I'm going to go ahead and go into my application list because it'll probably already be there. I like Yahoo, so I'm going to put it on my home screen. Got to find it. There it is. So it's under Mail. So remember to put it on your home screen the really easy way. It's just press and hold it and let go. That's it. So now I'll go into Mail. And it's going to ask me for all of my stuff. Signing in to Yahoo. That's it. And this is actually, 
So you can see that this is a more traditional Yahoo experience if you use Yahoo. All right, so that's how to add and then to remove the accounts. If you go back into the My Accounts, what you get now is through your settings. So let's go Menu, Settings, Accounts and Sync, and then it shows all the different accounts that we have selected right here, already set up. I'm going to remove my, let's say, Hotmail. Under the mail, it says grover.solomon at hotmail.com. I'm going to remove that. Down here, it says remove accounts. And remove. And that's it. We've just removed it. All right. So that's really as easy as it is to add and remove email accounts from your new Thunderbolt. Hope this has been helpful.